Aloha. Welcome to this video update of what's happening at the Honolulu Central Seventh-day Adventist Church. To start, I want to read you a verse from Proverbs chapter 16. It says, The man's heart makes his plans, but God directs the steps. In life, we've made lots of plans. We plan things with our family. We plan things with our relationships, school, work, church, many other places. We find that sometimes our plans get upset. Life gets turned upside down. That's what's happened throughout the world. Many millions of lives have been turned upside down. Travel restrictions, cancellation of meetings, and many other things have changed the way that we normally live. We've just watched in the last few days as the number of cases of coronavirus in Hawaii has gone from two to 10. We've also watched as gathering places have been limited to groups of 100, then 50, and now 10. Supplies have been in short, in short order. Many different kinds of foods, toilet paper, paper towels, other things have been difficult to find. But God promises us that he is directing our steps. If we place our trust in him, he will show us the way in which we should go. In light of all of the things that are happening and all of the fast changes, there was a meeting with all of the pastors and conference officials yesterday at the Hawaii Conference Office. After that meeting, we made the decision to go the following direction. Remember, as we let you know this, that these are plans, and we are going to continue to allow God to direct our steps. First is we are going to provide updates and devotional thoughts as we are right now. To find the latest in those videos, we encourage you to go to our website, which is www.honcentralsda.org. That's honcentralsda.org. We will attempt to get our videos out in other places, but that's where they will come out first. So make sure you're watching there throughout the week for updates and devotional videos. The second thing we're going to do is on Sabbath, we're going to post a video at around 11 a.m. We are not going to try to replace or even replicate our regular services. We recognize the fact that people will be watching these videos in small groups or within just their family units. And so we're going to try to do something a little bit different. Our services will consist of a prayer, a scripture reading, a short sermon, and then based off of that short sermon, we will be asking a few questions for you to be able to, to discuss in your groups or within your families. We hope that this spurs interaction on a spiritual level within your family, within your small groups that are meeting. We hope that, that this discussion will help to build one another's faith. The next thing we'll do is for tithes and offerings, if you look on our website, you will see in the top right hand corner a line that says giving. If you click on that, it will take you to everything you need to know about giving your tithes and offerings online if you don't already do so. If you want to bring your offerings to the church in person, we will be here on Sabbath from 5 to 7 p.m. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can drop off your offerings here at the church. Also, if you'd like to have someone to pray with, we'll be available at that time as well. Finally, um, we just want to remind you that God is with us. We want to remind you that nothing is too big for him. And even though because we're part of this world, there's going to be pain and sickness and sadness and death, we look forward to that day when he will come again. And there will be no more pain, no more disease, no more sickness, no more death, no more quarantine, no more short supplies of anything. But rather, we will live in eternity with him. We look forward to that day. We can't wait till it arrives. We hope that it's soon. And we repeat as Revelation did, even so, come Lord Jesus. Have a great day. We hope to see you soon.